Welcome back everybody. So in the last video, we took a look at how to create a Minecraft server. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at how to automatically back up that server. Um, every time we uh, start it, we're gonna get the new changes. And every time we exit the server, we're gonna automatically um, back it up. The first thing you wanna do is you uh, wanna go to Google and you wanna look up Git and you want to go to this link that says git-scm.com. You want to download it for your operating system and just go through the installation normally, just hitting next and keeping all the defaults. Now, after having installed Git, we have to add it to the system path, same as we did with Java the last time. So you want to open up your uh, computer, uh, navigate into C, program files, Git, um, go into the bin folder and copy this path. Then navigate to this PC, right click and then properties. Click on advanced system settings, click on advanced and then environment variables. Uh, down here, you want to scroll down until you see these, uh, this path variable. You want to click on edit. And then you want to click on new and just paste that one in there, hit OK and close this. I'm not going to do this because mine is already defined as you see it up here. Um, you want to do that, click OK, OK and close this up. After you've uh, successfully installed Git, you want to go back to Google and you want to navigate to GitHub. Um, you want to go to github.com and you want to create an account, it's completely free. Um, I already got one, so you go ahead and do that. Okay, so after you've created your account, you will see here it says repositories. Um, you want to click on new. Um, this is gonna uh, be a private repository um, because you don't want just random people accessing it. Um, you can call it whatever, I'm just gonna call it Minecraft server. Um, you can add readme, get ignore and these, just ignore these for now, unless you know what these are um, and just click on uh, create repository. Now, after it's created, um, you can see right here, it gives us the option to um, clone this repository um, locally. We're gonna be using SSH to do that. Um, you wanna copy this one and you want to go to wherever um, it is that you want to clone it. Okay, so I got our Minecraft server here from last time. What we're going to do is we're going to shift, right click, um, open partial window here, and then just type git clone and right click to paste that link and then hit enter. Um, you want to go into, where is it? There it is, Minecraft server. And you want to copy this git file. Now, if you can't see this file, it's because it's hidden. So you just click on view, options, click on view. And you see here, um, hidden files and folders. You just click on show and then click on apply. Um, you want to take this, move this into your Minecraft server and then you can delete this folder. Um, now we have to set up a way to actually upload the files because right now it's gonna um, reject our files because we're not authenticated. So what you wanna do is you wanna navigate CD and just insert um, this one and then just type SSH minus keygen um, type RSA minus B, this is the size of the key. Now you don't have to understand any of this, just do what I'm doing. Um, we're gonna give it the size of 4KB. Um, and you just hit enter. Okay, it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. Now I'm not gonna save it because I already have it. Um, so you just hit enter, you don't need to specify a password. Um, after you've done that, Type CD, 
dot ssh and then if we do ls we will have these two files in there um, we want to take a look at the contents of this file because that contains our public key so say cat id dot rsa dot public hit enter this is our public key so you want to mark this uh, control c for copy uh, you want to go back to github and go to settings um, then you go down to ssh and gpg keys and uh, you click on new paste this in here and then click on add and now you should be able to upload the files once you want to back up to your server All right, now that we're done with that, we want to navigate back to our server files. Um, we're going to edit this run server.cmd that we created the last time. We're going to click on edit with notepad. Um, right above where it starts uh, ngrock, we just type git pull. This is going to get all the new changes, like if you've been running the server on a different system. Um, and right under where it says Java uh, with all of its arguments, you just want to type git add dot. This adds all the files that have been changed in the previous um, revision. Um, it will not add files that have not been modified. That's the good thing about git in comparison to normal um, copy paste. Um, well, if you do it manually. Uh, so we want to type in git add dot that adds all the files we say git commit minus m now this is just a message that's going to appear in uh, github when we upload our changes um we don't really care about this message because it's a minecraft server and it's obviously going to keep uploading stuff all the time so we just put in a default um, i'm just going to go with a dot as a message and then we just type git push um, now what will happen is it will start the ngrock service, it'll start your server, and it will pause right here. Um, it is not going to continue until the server is shut down. Once you stop the server using the stop command, it will then go ahead, add the stuff, uh, put the message in, and then push the changes. Um, to show quickly what's going to happen, we're going to run this. So say... Um, want to cd right into this directory and we say run server it's going to start the ngrock service obviously and now it's going to start the server right here all right as you see the service started up um now we just want to simulate a normal server shutdown so we type stop we hit enter it's going to stop the server and right at, after it stops it, it's going to automatically back up it, uh, back it up. As you see here, it added all the files. Now it's uploading them and well, this is going to take a while, but this is eventually going to put all the changes online. And the next time you start it, it's going to get all the changes that it doesn't have locally. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, then make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.